and the goggle eyes and the ears are super flat right now we're going to be pulling them out to create the curvature start with the goggles select the edge loop on the left and do an edge slide by pressing g while you're moving the cursor then it's like the top edge loop move the cursor and press g do an edge slide same thing for the right side move it in press g edge slide and the bottom edge loop move it in press g edge slide so the edge slide is just moving along your geometry so it's not creating more geometry it's just moving within the geometry you already created i think that's how i have it in my head on how i remembered what it does and i think that makes sense let me know if it doesn't it makes sense in my head that's how you create the curvature around the goggles and then we need to pull out the edges to make sure we get this 3d shape so start from the left column and then just move from left to right pulling out these edge loops to create your 3d shape Try your best to get it as best as possible. You can look at the top perspective to see if your line is straight. And I'm actually not very good at this because I'm trying to do it as quickly as possible. I think there's a faster way to do it if you use the symmetry button at the top where it has X, Y, and Z. I don't know if you can see that next to options. I didn't know about this before, but I've seen someone do it in a YouTube video. And I was like, huh, we could have just did that and then start from the middle and then just drag the edge loops as we go. And it'll also pull out the edge loops on the opposite end. That way we only do half the work similar to the mirror modifier, but I actually will have to try that. I haven't been really doing the plane method as much, so I haven't gotten a chance to try that, but that's something that I've learned that would have been a faster thing to get the shape inflated 